Okay guys, welcome back to another cookie taste test video. So I got Great American Cookies. I'm really excited and I ordered six cookies. Well, actually, wait. Ordered six cookies, but Sawyer got a chocolate chip. And as soon as he was ringing me up, I seen that they had a full on Oreo cheesecake cookie, I think. I didn't get that. They did have another Oreo cookie and I got that. So we're gonna see if it's good. But let's get into this video. Okay, so first up, we're gonna start with the white chocolate macadamia nut. Let's give it a try. Now these are actual cookies, not like crumble cookies. I feel like crumble cookies is kind of like on the cakey side. Like it's like a cookie cake mixture, I feel like. Let's give let's give this a try though. Mmm. Let me break it like we do crumble. No, that's a macadamia nut cookie. Mmm. That's so good. Way better than crumbles. Mm. Okay. And then we have a snickerdoodle. Now, this snickerdoodle looked very toasted. But I think it's just because of the cinnamon snickerdoodle. Mm. I feel like you get all the flavor because they're so like little. The Great American Cookies is so good. Like so good. Oh, let me break it. This snickerdoodle cookie is phenomenal. It's all the things I always say when Crumble brings out their snip. This is not a Crumble bashing video. That's what it seems like though. This is what I say every time that I try the Crumble snickerdoodle. When I say, I'm like, it needs to be more snickerdoodly. That's what I mean. Cinnamon sugar, it's soft, but it's not like undercooked. Like how you know, you know how Crumble is sometimes, which I like it, but it's not a cookie to me. I feel like it's like, like I said, I feel like crumble is like a mixture between a cookie and a cake. This is a cookie and it's a phenomenal cookie. This is a, this is 10 out of 10. Both of those are 10 out of 10. Snickerdoodle and white chocolate macadamia nut are my top two favorite cookies. Okay, I'm going to try, I'm trying to try the, the basic ones first, you know. And then we have chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Mmm. That is soft. But it's not like... It's like fresh out of the oven. But not like undercooked, you know? Oh, that is so good. Mmm. I'm so glad I did this video. Because I was about to go to, um... Cinnabon. And try their Oreo um, cinnamon roll because apparently you can do that. I didn't know that. And I was like, hey, while I'm here, I'm gonna try and do all these restaurant video, like restaurants that I, that's not everywhere, you know. This 10 out of 10, super good, perfectly fresh out of the oven chocolate chip cookie. It's fantastic. Oh, that is so good. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just a really good chocolate chip cookie. Because I know everybody has had like a chocolate chip cookie, a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie. They're so good. The white chocolate macadamia nut cookie is like not as good as Subway's white chocolate macadamia nut, but it's like right, right there. Okay. And then we have, they had a blueberry. Look how thin she is. I can barely see it. Now this is a blueberry cookie. I'm thinking it's got... Is that cream cheese or? I'm thinking it's cream cheese. Let's give it. A... It's so thin. Like I can't. Like, look how thick. Look. That's <laughs> funny. Okay. Mm. Oh. Wow. 
Okay. First impression, I like it. A lot. I typically wouldn't gravitate towards this. I got this because it was sounding interesting to me. I like how it's not like actual blueberry. Like, I don't know if it's actual blueberries or not. I think it's like mashed blueberries. And I'm glad they did that because I don't like the texture of blueberries. I like frozen blueberries, but I don't like the texture of regular blueberries. Or blueberries cooked into things. I don't like that. And I like how these are like mushed together. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Look how thin she is. Very blueberry flavor. I'm pretty sure that's cream cheese. This is a really good cookie. She's thin though. Mm. Why are this place is a 10 out of 10? This is a good cookie place. Okay. And then... I can't remember what this was called. It's some type of Oreo cookie. I know that. I wish I got the Oreo cheesecake, but it's all it's all right. It's all right. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like straight up Oreo. That's how you do an Oreo cookie. It tastes like an oreo cookie it doesn't you know how i always say oh oreo desserts all taste like an oreo ball this doesn't taste like an oreo ball this tastes like an oreo cookie okay let's break it and this is good okay y'all i can't get it to focus on this oreo cookie but mm. this is so good mmm this is a 10 out of 10. Great American cookies, 10 out of 10. Mmm. Mmm. That's the best cookies I've had in so long. Phenomenal. Okay, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and rate this. I'm going to put this at third. I give this a 10 out of 10. It's my third favorite. I would make it my first favorite, but I like the original flavors too. I feel like one through three is going to be tight. So this is number three coming in at a 10 out of 10. Wish I had got the Oreo cheesecake. First up, you already know, my always favorite loyal cookie, the white chocolate macadamia nut. She's beautiful. She's golden brown. White chocolate chips, macadamia nuts, perfection. Perfection. Coming in at number one out of 10 out of 10. Then... The snickerdoodle snickerdoodle is number two and it's gonna get a 10 out of 10 so good snickerdoodle this is what a snickerdoodle cookie is all about some people need to take notes you don't know what i mean no shade no shade and then chocolate chip y'all know i always say i love a good chocolate chip cookie for a movie night dipped in milk but I don't gravitate. I'm going to gravitate towards what? Chocolate macadamia nut or snickerdoodle or Oreo. If somebody has an Oreo cookie. But this chocolate chip cookie is a very good chocolate chip cookie. Golden brown chocolate chips. All the cookies are fresh out of the oven. Feel. The Oreo one wasn't, but I liked it like that because I feel like when it's too super soft, that's when you get the Oreo, um, the Oreo ball flavoring that I'm always talking about. But this 10 out of 10 coming in at number four then we have this blueberry cookie now it was good she was thin apparently he thought about something because i didn't see this thin cookie in that box they were all kind of thicker I, so i thought but this is good good flavor good blueberry fa flavor like i said i like how they mash the blueberries up i'm gonna give this a i'm gonna give this a seven out of ten like it was really really good but I feel like this is a type of cookie Brendan would love. I don't really like fruit flavored things. You know, I'm going to gravitate towards like white chocolate macadamia nut. Like I keep saying, you know. But I'm glad I got to try Great American Cookies. Hopefully they come out with some new cookies and I can try them while we're here. Because I don't know where we're going yet. We find out July, I think. But. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that notification bell down below so I always get notified when I post a video. I love y'all so, so much. Stay safe, be kind of another, and hopefully I see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. Also, I matched the bag. That's so funny.